In 2009-2010, the Pioneer women's golf team failed to reach the final round of the NCAA championships for the first time in four seasons. Even worse, three-time All-American Stephanie Sherlock graduated, leaving a gaping hole at the top of the lineup. And to make life even more difficult, senior Ellie Givens was a giant question mark thanks to a lingering stress fracture. Despite all of that, head coach Sammy Chergo was guardedly optimistic. We didn't know what to expect. And you know, so we went to work right off the bat and, and I think after a week of practice or so, I think Lindsay and I both thought that if we work hard, continue to improve, you know, come together as a team, we thought April and May we could be a pretty competitive golf team. The fall portion of the schedule was a mixed bag for Denver. Minus Ellie Givens, Coach Chergo went deep into her roster to find five golfers to compete. Despite the injuries and inexperience, the Pioneers didn't shy away from competition. We speak with our players about we are going to schedule the very best tournaments that we can get in. You know, because in order to be the best, you have to play the best. And there were times, I think, where maybe our players became a little frustrated because winning's fun. You know, you, you want to be in the hunt in the last day. And, but early in the fall, you know, we were in the hunt at Red Sky. We were in the hunt at New Mexico. Um, and then we really, we weren't in the hunt again until, until the Sunbelt Conference. But I think when it came to pay dirt at the Sunbelt, even at regionals where we needed to play really well, um, we had been prepared all year long playing against, you know, top 10, 15 teams. And April and May, it really helped us. The highlight of the fall season belonged to Tanya Daffenrud. The freshman from Norway took medalist honors at the challenge at Onion Creek in Austin, Texas. Daffenrud, without question, is going to be a good one. But it's just been a great year uh, to get to know the team and, uh, and the people. And you really come close when you uh, spend that much time with one group of people. So uh, it's been a, really been a special year for me. She's so talented and she works so hard, loves golf, loves competing and she's going to be right where she needs to be. And I think, I think Tanya will, will go down as, as, as one of the better uh, players that's, that's ever played for the Pioneers. In the spring, DU regained the services of senior Ellie Givens. Her return, coupled with the stellar play of Kelly Drake, made Denver the favorite at the Sun Belt Conference Championships. The Pioneers had won seven straight conference titles in relatively easy fashion, but number eight in a row would not come easy. Heading into the final round, DU led by just four strokes. Midway through round three, the lead was gone. But on the back nine, an unlikely hero emerged. Walk-on Anna Christensen fired a career-low 69 to give Denver a five-shot win. Um, you know, it means a lot. I, I mean, just like anybody else, you know, I, I go to practice like everybody else. I go to live. Um, I mean, I can play. I've never doubted myself. You know, I have my ups and downs, don't get me wrong, but you know, when days like this happen, it feels great, so. Anna has improved tremendously during her time here, and she's a good golfer. Just to see the joy in her face and how relaxed she was and how much fun she was having, and not only did she help the team, but she, she you know, she, she played a career round. Ellie Gibbons and Kelly Drake were both named to the all-conference team, again, and the win earned Denver a ticket to the NCAA Regionals. In Auburn, Washington, the Pioneers finished 13th, missing a trip to Nationals by 12 shots. The event also brought an end to the terrific four-year career of Ellie Givens. My freshman year, everybody told me it would go really quickly, and then uh, I didn't believe them. I was like, no, it can't. This year seems, it seems as if it's gone like normal speed, and suddenly I'm, I'm done, which is just crazy to think about. When you're being with people day in, day out, and you kind of you, you create like a special bond with those people, so it's been, uh, I think that's definitely the highlight not, and definitely the strength of this team is the way that uh, Coach and Lindsay bring us all together and how we're willing to work towards the same goal. So 2010-2011 was an okay year by Coach Chirgo's standards, but one that should provide a lot of motivation for next year's squad. We expect to go to the national championship every year. No matter if we're ranked 40th in the country or ranked 10th in the country, that's the benchmark. And no one in this program is satisfied if we don't achieve that. So maybe there'll be a little bitter taste in our mouths as we tee it up next year where you know, next year's team is going to be the team that gets us back to nationals. And I think the talent we have coming in, with the people we have coming back, with our competitive tournament schedule, uh, I'm ready. I think I need maybe one more week off and I'm ready to go again next year because I think it's going to be fun.